Looking for this? Uh oh. <laughs> um, can't we talk about this? <laughs> Here's the deal. You're always making us listen to your idiotic stories. Well, today you're going to listen to one of ours. Start reading, Star Boy. And if I refuse? Oh, come on. Oh, all right. Once upon a time. The people of fairy tale land lived in a very dark time. There was no such thing as education. The tiny bit of information there was was passed down by monks under the dark shroud of a night. But this was very rare. In general, the people of this time had no skills, lived in filth, and were so dumb they could barely feed themselves. There did, however, seem to be an isolated exception to this rule. Two remarkable, handsome, and talented children by the names of Dortina and Randolphus. Oh boy, give me a break. This pair lived on their parents' farm, where their parents grew dirt to sell at the town market, which was tough to sell because almost everybody at this time grew dirt to sell at the market. However, these two remarkable kids were very sharp. Look, Mom and Dad, if you put these little things we call seeds under the ground, they turn into plants! And if you put this wet stuff we call water on them, they produce vegetables. They're much tastier than dirt. I want to ride the pony. Okay. Well, their parents had no idea what the kids were talking about. But this didn't discourage the uncanny pair, and they immediately set out for town. However, they hadn't gone far when they encountered the weirdest creature they had ever seen. <laughs> this thing appeared to be half normal farm goose and half complete moron. With the aid of some magic speaking stick thingy, this odd abomination insisted on telling the children a very twisted version of an old folk tale. Once she finished her ridiculous story, the goose woman vanished mysteriously. Finally, the children made it to the market, where something wonderful happened. Their new vegetables were a huge hit. All of this commotion soon attracted the attention of a crusty old monk named Friar Larry. He immediately interrogated the children as to where they had gotten their miraculous produce. When they explained, Friar Larry was astonished. Oh, do you guys mind if I just check something really quick? I guess not. <gasps> I knew it! You bear the special marks! You are the chosen ones! And so Friar Larry took the children back to his hovel, where he explained a fantastic prophecy. Every 500 years, a golden abacus would appear embedded in a chunk of granite. The abacus would remain for only one brief hour. It was said that if the abacus could be pulled from the stone, then the world would be instantly freed from the bonds of stupidity. However, not just anyone could pull the abacus from the stone. It would take a special pair of siblings, pure of heart, possessing all the known knowledge of the world. They would have to work fast, because the special day was coming up on Thursday, and it was already Monday. And so, Friar Larry began packing their heads with information. At the end of the first day, the kids, though excited, were exhausted. Friar Larry bid them farewell. The children headed home. However, on the way, they encountered the weird goose creature again. Once more, a long and pointless story ensued. The following day, the kids awoke late and tired, but vowed to work harder than ever before. At the end of the third and a final day, Friar Larry turned over the remainder of the world's knowledge to the children. Now go! Finish up your homework! And remember, you gotta be in it to win it! Now go, 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 go! This time, the kids took a new path home, but still they were interrupted by this strange and hideous pest. They made it home just before sunrise. M must study. And study they did. 
until just as the sun was rising, they finished attaining the last of the world's knowledge. We did it. We're gonna save the world. Later that day, at last, the sacred moment was at hand. So the brother and sister whose destiny had once seemed so monumental had failed. As for Friar Larry, he renounced the ways of humanity, wandered into the woods, and was promptly eaten by a bear. And the kids lived out their lives in shame, having contributed nothing to society. All thanks to the stupidest creature of all, the horrible Goosewoman. The end. Oh boy, that was a downer. <laughs> what a sad story! That's right, and there's a point to it, too. Yeah, I know! Not to listen to any more stories from the two of you! No, wait! That's not it! Come on, Wani! Okay, I'll see you soon! Bye! <sighs> oh, well, tomorrow's another day. <laughs> <laughs>